Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap of Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today we're going to keep the train rolling and look at uh, all the interceptions from Kyle Fuller in the 2018 season. Just going to go through and break down kind of what we see, you know, uh, see exactly what went down because every play has its own story and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, going to go ahead and get this started. Looks like we have two versus the Dolphins. Um, uh, gonna go back, uh, first and 10 end of the half. So 30 seconds left in the half. So more than likely they're in attack mode. So I wish I had a highlight on my thing, but we got Kyle full over here. He's off. And that's just good technique. Um, that's good athleticism and everything. So he's got a cushion, but he's backpedaling. And he turns into the receiver. That's the big thing is that knowing how to speed turn into the receiver, get into his hip. Now, that's a trail technique where he's underneath and Fuller likes to be in trail technique because now you got to have a perfect pass to beat me. And if you underthrow it, I'm in position to intercept it just like he did there. And I've done defensive back coaching. I know some terms, but honestly, my terms aren't 100% great. So if I say something silly, but that's the term I use is speed turn uh, because you're in back, you're in pedal mode and then you turn your hips, flip your hips into running. And so speed turn right there. And so that takes a bit of athleticism to begin with to backpedal that far into the route. That's a good three, four seconds before he even speed turns. But that just depends on the receiver. You got to know when the receiver is getting uh, close to your cushion because if he's even, he's leaving. And knowing when he's there and being able to speed turn correctly. And the quarterback just underthrew it and Kyle Fuller took advantage. And you trust that Amos is over the top in case the pass isn't underthrown. All right, so third down and seven. Kyle Fuller backpedaling. Oh, my God. And that's just good reaction. That's that's really good. Re oh, that's just textbook. I'm sorry. That, that kind of got me. And these controls just do not want to cooperate with me. But that's just good reaction by Kyle Fuller because he's backpedaling and then once he sees the break he's not really baiting the quarterback or anything he sees the break he plants almost immediately as the receiver breaks and now he's underneath that and so that's just good drive on the ball that's excellent drive on the ball when the quarterback throws with anticipation off that break, it's a little late, but the quarterback isn't super late. He throws it right around when the receiver breaks. And Kyle Fuller is already uh, planted by the time the quarterback winds up underneath it. Good hands. And it was funny because uh, prior to last year, Fuller just really couldn't catch those passes. He didn't turn, you know, breakups into interceptions, and you saw him really improve on that. So, uh, e excellent play, I would say. And people wonder, it's like, how did you throw that? That dude was right there. He wasn't right there. He broke on the pass and put himself right there. So, great play. Now we're going to the Patriots. Tuam Brady. And that's just a tip drill, or, I mean, not technically a tip drill, but, and this is not the all 22, so I'm going to just go back real quick um, to the coach's film. 
So was wasn't a tip drill per se, but still that's kind of what we call it. Just reacting off a, a tip pass. You could almost call that a fumble, but Kyle Fuller just really been in position. Breaking once again. And as a defender, you're taught just be around the ball. Good things happen when you are around the ball. And so even though it's not your man, even though the play seems like it might be over, just stay around the ball. Rally to the ball and good things could happen. So that's just good reaction time right there and making a play. All right, now moving on to the Bills where there's two interceptions. Third and short. We got Kyle Fuller on our left. That's where he likes to line up. So which is not exactly I don't know why they <laughs> Okay, they put this in Kyle Fuller's highlights. It's not a Kyle Fuller interception. He forced the interception, but anyway, we'll look at it. So he's not impressed, but he's up on the line. Not looking to jam. Uh, so small cushion. Then we get an underneath screen. And I guess it was an actual screen or they tried to rub route. But this receiver absolutely whiffed. Did a bad job. And that's just great drive on the ball by Kyle Fuller to really uh, attack that pass. And so that's a Leonard Floyd pick six. But again, they put it under Kyle Fuller. So, yeah, that's just good drive. And you can see his ability to plant and go is really what allows him to make some of these plays. To put his foot in the ground, react, and then drive on the ball. And that's big for corners. So it looks like we got another underthrown pass. And I love this film, but I hate these controls. So let's go to the top of that play. So Fuller's off right now, giving him cushion. Not the fastest receiver or corner. So he's pedaling. Eyes on the receiver. Sees him floating across the middle. Opens up. And again, in trail technique, which is interesting because really at that point, you could have just cut under the receiver. He's floating across. You could have just cut under him, but he went behind him. And the pass happened to be behind. And Fuller makes the play. So good pattern recognition. I believe that's Kelvin Benjamin, who's not running a very convincing route to begin with. But that's what happens. You got quarterbacks that want to take chances and aren't accurate. And really, okay, so now that we can see it a little better, I take back what I said. It's not so much that he was behind him. He, he pretty much went in front of him. So as he gets ready to throw, you can see Kyle Fuller's position. And so Kyle Fuller is in front of the receiver, kind of behind him, but he's still, he's cutting in front of him. Now, he could have walled him off to begin with, but he came from the back door, which is fine. But he stays in front of the pass, which is what's important. And then from there... He makes the play and just really showing good hands. I mean, all these plays just showing good reaction time, good hands, understanding when he needs to give cushion and when he can play up and uh, press a receiver. That all goes into it. So going into the white zone almost where they're getting ready to score. We got the Lions. And we got a bad throw. And I don't never fault a player for taking advantage of a player's mistake or offense mistakes. That's a defense's job. So he's got the flag route again. Not a convincing route. 
He's able to open up and stay over the top. And really, he he would have got bodied out if he put it to the uh, tight end and just let him uh, get it underneath. But makes a bad play. And Kyle Fuller, again, being in position, but also making the play. Yeah, it's an easy mistake, but you got to capitalize on that mistake. So, good play there. We did find ourselves in the mismatch, but really Stafford just gifted that. So, we got the New York Giants. Kyle Fuller again. Now, honestly, you watch that, and that's 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 preparation. Like, if you didn't see it, I'll slow it down, and I'll start it over for you. Because that is... <laughs> That's what you want to see. This is absolute preparation. This isn't reaction. Um, Kyle Fuller is on OBJ. Now, based off the play or whatever he did, he knows the slant's coming. He already broke on the pass before OBJ even ran the route. And so he ran the route for him and picked off Eli Manning. So that tells me that he recognized some. That's a pattern recognition. Maybe he saw him go flat and he knew a slant was coming because that's a that's a very common uh that's a very common concept. Because if you're not going in and out, and I'll slow it down. Unless you call it in and out, you're gonna really mess yourself up. Because right now I got him. I'm going to run right into this corner's way. He's going to slant and go into empty space. And that's why that's a common route, because they could get messed up. And a lot of times people will call an IOU inside out, and that means they switch. So if this guy goes outside, I'll take him. If this guy comes inside, I'll take him. But right now, that man, and he broke on it. He knew what was coming. Maybe by the way OBJ took off, he knew he wasn't going vertical. Whatever it was, Kyle Fuller completely jumped that route. Like, completely ran that route for him. And as a play action, Eli has to get it out quick. He knows exactly where he wants to go. Fuller's there. That's an amazing interception. That's studying, and that's recognizing in the game. And so last one against the Rams. First down and 10. There in the green zone. We got empty. Fuller's backpedaling. And that's that's just a bad pass by the quarterback. So let's see what we got. We got a pedal. He's way off. Giving him that cushion. That's underneath. So now he's boxed. If he goes vertical, he's done. So Kyle Fuller knows he can squat underneath. And boom, takes that. And that's just really understanding your position, like on the field, literally where you are, where your safety is, where the help is, what I can jump, and the quarterback just making a bad pass. And it's just a good play. I mean, you know what? I know a lot of people try to talk about Amos isn't wasn't that great. You're silly. There's plays he makes just because he's in the right position and other players can make their play. And that's one of them right there. So once again, you see Kyle Fuller jumping that and making a big play. So, I mean, overall, you look at those interceptions and once again, you see good, quick twitch, short area, uh, change of direction. And when I talk about corners for the draft, I talk about their ability to plant. That means your sudden ability to plant your foot, stop your motion, and then redirect, and then your drive on the ball. Some people can plant and stop themselves, but then they can't re-explode and drive on the ball to make a play. Kyle Fuller, as you can see, can do both very well. And while he's not fast, the system really allowed him to squat and play underneath, gave cushion when he needed to give cushion, but he understands he doesn't have to run down the field and take green grass. He understands I could play the man more than I'm playing a zone. 
And so uh, Kyle Fuller just showing really good reaction and really good hands. So go to the comment section. Let me know what you think about Kyle Fuller's interceptions last season and just his overall play. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, stay up and bear down.